Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a huge cumulative thrift outlet haul. I believe I have just over 75 items to share. I sourced everything from two stores. First is the Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill bins, where here in Houston, I pay $2.19 per pound. And the second store that I frequent is the Family Thrift Center Outlet where I pay $2 per item. So everything you'll see in this haul, I paid right around that $2 mark for it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into it. I do have, I wanna say about 14 pairs of shoes, a few accessories, and then the rest will be clothing. So starting off with shoes and starting off with an exciting find, we have these teaks flats. They are a patent leather upper in a really nice neutral color. They have the classic teal soles. They're in really good shape. The insole looks good. They're a size eight. They do have just a tiny amount of scuffing here. If you have patent leather and you have some scuffs on it, uh, acetone or nail polish remover will take those out. Um, and they, it did take out quite a bit of scuffing, but there was just very faint um, amount left, but that's fine. I will just photo it. I'm still expecting around 100, maybe 115-ish for those. Next up, we have this pair of boots, and I just really like the style of these. They're also a genuine leather upper. They have this kind of chunky sole and then a stacked chunky heel and back. I like the contrast between the smooth leather and the suede. They are a size 37. The brand is Rebels, which I don't think is anything amazing, but they just look like they were made really well. Great materials and great shape. I had to get them. Next up, a tried and true brand here. These are Steve Madden. I would say Steve Madden is probably my best shoe seller as far as consistency goes. These are a neutral sandal, an espadrille platform sandal. Just a great kind of everyday spring summer shoe. Let me see, these are the Illy sandals in a size six and a half. Another exciting pair, Chloe. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure these are authentic. They are incredibly well made. I was one of the first people in the outlet store. I shop there every Thursday morning and I always race to the shoe section to see what's there and I snatch these super quickly. They are in amazing condition. I mean, they really don't look like they were worn much, maybe a couple times. The espadrille platform is in amazing condition. It's like a tooled leather upper so pretty. These are a size 38 made in Spain. I am going to get these authenticated. I do use a website called Real Authentication to authenticate my items. I will leave a code down below if you guys have anything you want to authenticate. It gets you $5 off your authentication. Okay, next up, I got these mainly because I just loved the style of them. I thought this mixed metal detail was so cool. They are a genuine leather, small heel and back, chocolate brown color, and these are the brand. Um, I hadn't heard of it. Here it is here. Z-I-G-I-N-Y. And they are a size, does that say seven? Yes. So really cool, good condition, great for rodeo and whatnot. Again, I love the style of these and come to find out these were actually sold at Anthropology. Carmen Salas, made in Spain, really high quality. This is a genuine calf hair upper. It's like a dyed cheetah print with a suede heel. They are a slingback heel. So really pretty. I love the neutral color scheme. These, in contrast, are not super high quality. They're just Circus by Sam Edelman, which is a diffusion line. But I thought they were super cute. They're a wedge espadrille sandal with this 
frayed neutral upper and a peep toe. So I had to get these for $2. They were in good shape, size six. These were just a Benz grab, Johnson and Murphy, which this is a very reputable brand. Some people, you know, search it out. It's kind of like Clark's, uh, you know, they make a lot of really high quality shoes with great materials. These are a rubber sole and then leather upper with like a metallic look to them. Size nine, made in India. Vince Camuto. I would say Vince Camuto, Sam Edelman, Steve Madden, Lucky Brand. They're all in the same kind of wheelhouse for me. They sell very consistently, not for a crazy amount, but I would say that 28 to $40 mark. I really like these. Again, I found these at the bins. They are a calf hair upper with contrasting black suede details, a small heel and back, and just a nice kind of neutral color palette. They are the Elroy shoes in a size eight, cow hair upper leather lining. Also found these at the bins. This is kind of crazy. They still had these shoe inserts. They are all birds, which all birds are still very popular. People are actively searching for them on the secondhand market. I believe they retail for right around $100. So these should sell, I would say 40-ish, considering they are in such great condition. They're a size of women's nine. This was a new brand to me. I hadn't heard of it. I mainly threw them into my cart based on style. And then I looked them up towards the end of my trip and I was super happy to see that they sell really well. I think they were sold at Nordstrom. The brand is Tony Pons, P-O-N-S Origins. And they are a espadrille sandal with these elastic straps. And the striped upper does have like a metallic sheen to it. So how cute would these be at the beach? Size 40, made in Spain. We have another tried and true brand here, Naot, which kind of has like a Birkenstock look and feel to their items. Same kind of quality. They are a genuine suede upper with the cork midsole. This is the bottom sole and suede insole. A size 39 made in Israel. So these I'm expecting, I would say 35-ish. Couple more pairs here. We have Keds. How cute are these? They're a leopard print, which I feel like you don't see all the time um, from Keds or any kind of basic sneaker. So I had to get these. They're also a really good size. I think they're an 11. Yes, size 11. I really liked this gold hardware with the gold rivets and then the Keds logo is gold as well. So super cute, in pretty good condition. They are the Dream Foam technology. And our very last pair of shoes, these are a pair of Uggs. Once again, grab these from the bins. And I thought they were in amazing condition. However, when I got them home, I noticed that three of these tassels here that go all the way around the shoe. As you can see, they are missing in this one spot. So it's a little bit of a bummer, but I think that they will still sell probably for around 20 to 25 ish instead of closer to 40. If they had everything still attached, they have the sheepskin interior lining. Okay. So that was absolutely it for shoes. I do have one bag to show. This is new tags pink by Victoria's Secret. I was at the bins and I actually was finding all of these shoes. I had only brought one Ikea bag and so I didn't have anywhere to store my shoes and then I found this. So it helped me get my shoes out to my car and now I can resell it. So I have a very, a very fond attachment to this bag. It's tie dye and like I said, it's new. So it retailed for $40. I have it stuffed right now with just plastic bags, but that's a great kind of weekender tote. One 
children's piece super cute little uh, leopard printed sweater it's just Gianni beanie girl size small one bra I've been loving picking up bras for a while now I got this from the bins it's Victoria's Secret and it still had the tag on it has really pretty embroidery it's unlined and it is a size 40 double D it was originally $34 so with it being new at tags I could not leave this behind I probably paid like 25 cents to 50 cents for it and it'll sell around 30 so that's an awesome return next is a poncho shawl type cardigan piece this is going to be kind of hard to show I did put it on my mannequin so I'll insert some pictures it's just a really drapey open front kind of poncho piece from Lauren by Ralph Lauren and I would have liked for this to be a wool blend it is a hundred percent acrylic but with it being Lauren by Ralph Lauren in excellent condition I did want to go ahead and get it just because ponchos are so popular for me Next we have Free People One, which is a sub brand to Free People. They make a lot of like gauzy, raw hem type items. And this is no exception. It's a really lightweight eyelet detail dress. So pretty with little flutter sleeves. Just very kind of dainty feminine details. It's fully lined. Here is the back and oh yeah the size tag was cut out on this but I think it's like a small it might be yeah it was cut out from the inside tag as well fully lined okay next this was pretty exciting it's a little pajama set from Madewell I first stumbled into the tank when I was rummaging through the bin and I was like eh, that's not substantial enough to resell but then I saw the shorts and I quickly went back for the tank. So yeah, I think this might sell for, I would say 30 to 35 ish. They are both size large. I really like this color and this tank is cute. It's like, uh, it's kind of like a flouncy fit. I don't know how to describe it with a little ruffle trim. Next we have Eileen Fisher. This is a very substantial piece from Eileen Fisher. It's a long line double breasted jacket, like a, what's the word, trench coat almost. And it is 100% linen, size large. So we love to see that. People love their linen, especially in springtime, organic linen, I should say. So here is the up close of the tag it's like a charcoal gray color really nice it has pockets i loved this find are these not the cutest pajama pants ever these were actually new with tags from anthropology the sub brand is e by eloise which is like their pajama slash loungewear line and let's see they Oh, they cut the price tag off or the price portion. They're size extra small and they have this contrast drawstring. Oh, wait, <laughs> let me roll them up. So the bottom hem you roll up and you can secure it with this little hook and button and you can have the contrasting lining poking through, but the body of the pants has this Russian doll print. So cute, like nesting dolls, right? So yeah, I was so excited to stumble on those. I actually was done at the thrift store. I was about to check out. And then I just thought to myself, let me do one more run through the store and I found those. So I was so happy. So this is a boutique item by Love Stitch. It's a size medium large. And I just thought this was precious. It has this crochet insert that is semi sheer. You know, it does go through with a little floral design. And then the whole sweater is in this really soft, like nubby fabric. So I think this will sell, I would say 28 to 32 ish. More linen, 100% linen 
button-down shirt dress with a waist tie. It's like safari style. I got this to model because I knew that if I modeled it, it would kind of elevate the piece a little bit just because, you know, you can, the buyer is able to see what it looks like on, how it fits. It's just a vintage piece by Petite Sophisticate in a size four. Switching gears to a trendier piece. This, I've wanted to find this brand for so long. It is sometimes sold at Free People. It is called Daydreamer. Their graphic t-shirts sell really well, but this is a tie-dye sweatshirt, which should also sell well because tie-dye usually flies out of my closet, especially at leisure style stuff. And this piece overlaps with both of those characteristics. So yeah, I'll expect maybe 35-ish from that. This was definitely a fun piece as well. This is just H&M, but I thought it was so cute. I've talked about it so many times, but novelty prints sell great for me. This is a monkey print, and some of them are wearing crowns, which is interesting. And you have the tie at the chest. It's like a satin, silky satin material in a size four. I think it's new without tags. It feels brand new and it also still has a tag barb at the tag. Another boutique style sweater. I couldn't leave this because I just thought it was so cute. I love the neutral color scheme with the leopard. It has like a bubble sleeve. The brand is Jodiful. It's a size small. Definitely a more relaxed, oversized kind of fit. This was an excellent find as well. Comfy USA. I have heard other resellers talk about this brand, but I have not found it before. And this is a great piece to find. So it's a size 3X. It's a striped long line tunic top with a shark bite hem and contrasting stripes so some are vertical some are horizontal you have side slits and it is in a really soft stretchy jersey knit material 88 percent rayon eight percent spandex and four percent modal so we love that stretch jersey knit is those are all keywords some people search that out because the items are really soft and wearable. More anthropology. These I actually found next to the new tags Russian doll pajama pants and I was so happy that I decided to do that uh, final look through of the store. How cute are these? I'm trying to show this uh, fabric insert going down. It's wanting to focus. There we go going down the legs. It's a button fly and these are called the Wonder Pants in a size 25. This is their house label by Anthropology. They're not buttoned right now but <laughs> you get the idea. So cute and then the back pocket has the same kind of contrast uh, fabric. More linen. I thought this was adorable. So it's a boxy contemporary cut blouse that has this precious floral botanical print to it and it buttons down in back with like a faux wood kind of button. The brand is Cynthia Rally, which I do not buy everything I find from this brand, but 100% linen with this cut and print. I could not leave this behind, size medium. I got this from the bins, so lightweight, probably paid around a dollar for it. We have Free People, again, so cute. I really loved everything I found in this haul. This is like a Western style blouse. I will add rodeo as a keyword to this. The contrasting fabric is really nice. It's almost like a bandana kind of print. So we have 
embroidery and like a floral design and then pearl snap in front and the embroidery does continue to the back this is a linen blend which is great yeah cotton polyester and linen the size tag was cut out but i think it is like a size small or medium i will include measurements on that i include measurements on everything but especially that we have athleta i love finding athleta pants even if they are the older tag which this is size four these are full length athleisure style pants these sell great for me probably for 30 to 35 ish they have a bunch of zippered pockets which is really practical and functional they have one at the side of the leg as well this is just a fun grab again i got this at the bins it's pretty lightweight i just love the tie-dye it sells so well for me and this was a longer length it has some really thoughtful details to it like the button tap sleeves and the little chest pocket i think this would be so cute with black leggings it does have some black within the tie-dye so that would match really well cafe marrakesh made in india size medium this feels like 100 percent rayon we have some madewell in a size medium is this not the cutest top so it's a plaid print it crosses over and it has the little snap there for some extra coverage and then at the bottom hem it has a double tie so cute this is the sleeve and this was also a newer piece okay someone cut it out but i'm pretty sure this was from 2021 so we love that soft surroundings this is an older tag from soft surroundings but i did want to get it because it is 100 percent silk it's a size large and it's a maxi floor length dress or uh like gown nightgown kind of thing you could wear this out you know wearing uh, lingerie or like sleep dresses silky sleep dresses have has been a trend for sure or you know you could literally just wear this to bed it has the double v in front and back and with it being 100 percent silk with no flaws whatsoever i for sure had to go ahead and get that i'll probably expect i would say 32 to 38 ish yet another maxi length item this is once again a boutique kind of brand indigo rose but it was a size large and i just really like the print and cut to it it has the faux wrap or crossover front with a patchwork floral print it is lined and it just seemed really substantial the sleeves were cute with the banded cuffs and it also does have a tie in back so you can you know make it a little more flattering really pretty love the print so boho eileen fisher open front cardigan size extra small this is a great fabric makeup and also a really nice just kind of minimalist cut neutral color with like a it's almost like a space dye or like speckled knit i guess you'd say the material is 55 percent organic cotton 30 percent wool and nylon another fun bins grab this is vintage obermeyer which Obermeyer is for sure a brand to look out for. It's ski wear. This is lady size large. It's 70% wool. And how fun is this? It's like a, a patched together animal print. You have zebra, cheetah, and very colorful. And with it being vintage, I think this should sell for around $50, if not a little more. Blue and Gray, which is a bread and butter brand that I love to find. It is a subdivision of Ann Taylor Loft. They make a lot of like loungewear, comfy pieces, or updated basics like this that are 
comfy, casual, but still make you look put together. So this is a teal romper, really cute. I would expect this to sell for around 25 to 28 ish. It does zip in back. I think this is feels like rayon or lyocell. I would guess 78% modal, 22% polyester. So that's even better. Modal is a key word. Some people search for it because it is extremely soft. It feels great on the skin. It feels like silk, but it's easier to take care of because you can machine wash it pretty easily. Another boutique piece, this is just wish list in a size medium, but I thought this was really nice boho contemporary it has an interesting kind of design at the chest with a v-neck it's a high-waisted jumpsuit striped print so definitely had quite a bit going for it it also has pockets zips up the back i if something is in a jumpsuit cut that definitely makes me more likely to grab it. It's also natural materials, 100% cotton. This is a brand that I have been loving, although I think it is sold at TJ Maxx now, Young, Fabulous, and Broke, but that has not stopped it from selling in my closet. I've been uh, getting like 35-ish, I would say, for the items, and I loved this. It's a, let me zip it all the way up, like a cargo kind of style oversized jacket with a zip pocket drawstring bottom hem i think this does have does it have a spot yeah it has like a faint spot here at the back sleeve but that shouldn't stop it from selling it's fully lined in a size large more linen this is asos which again i do not buy everything i find in this but I loved the cut and just overall look of this piece. It's a long line boyfriend style blazer with a one button closure and a really cool just black and white kind of classic striped print. It was also 23% linen, which is great for spring, summertime, size two. This is the back we have a hundred percent cashmere which is a no-brainer this is charter club and it's a size extra large which is great it's just a basic black kind of wide neck sweater i need to um lint roll it it does not need to be depilled because it was new with tags when i found it so obviously it does not have any wear to it or pilling but it does have a little bit of fuzziness the tag just kind of fell off so it's fine it is what it is i will mention in the listing that it's in excellent condition another kind of lower to mid-tier boutique kind of brand i'm not even sure if this is boutique this might be sold at like kohl's but i mainly got it because it was a size 1x and it was just so cute it's an open front vest with a fringe trim and this kind of earth tone striped print so i had to grab this this will probably end up selling for 25 to 28 ish stuff like this that's very boho and cute is usually my first stuff to sell from my uploads just because people like cute trendy pieces that are in good condition i would say your average poshmark buyer is not searching for the highest brands they just want some new cute fun items to wear and order so that's what i try to shop for next we have an urban outfitters house label kimchi blue size medium really pretty high neck dress little mini dress with a metallic sheen to it it's like a star print you have a little cut out at the chest this collar here is all beaded so pretty it kind of has celestial vibes i would say and then buttons going down the back with more cutouts it's fully lined bread and butter free people here i have sold this exact top 
so many times, at least five times now. I forget the name of it. I want to say it starts with a K. It's like a waffle knit texture with banded cuffs, super oversized and slouchy, kind of has like a graphite wash. And this one is actually in a size large, which is awesome. I usually find it in like extra small. So this would probably fit up to plus size just because it is so oversized and slouchy. I would say size small and that top fits like a large. So uh, Free People is just so comfy and cozy to wear. Speaking of comfy cozy, we have American Eagle Jegging Fit size small sweatshirt. This exact style of piece has been my best seller by far since the pandemic started. People have just been wanting to stock up on loungewear, athleisure stuff. This is a ribbed turtleneck sweater, very, very soft and it's like fleece lined if you guys can see this i'm not sure but so soft let me see is this it's just cotton and polyester i don't know how they do it but incredibly soft this piece i got based on multiple factors so first off it is the pure jill line from j jill so if i'm going to get j jill my favorite is their pure jill or love linen lines they both sell great for me it's a size 3x it was in excellent condition it's a great cut for transitional weather which is what we are moving into springtime um, it's like an oversized kind of dolman sleeve 64 percent linen 36 percent cotton so all natural, soft, breathable, wearable, really pretty pale pink. That would be a great kind of casual Easter top for someone. Maybe I will include that as a keyword. I always like to include holidays as keywords because some people just use Poshmark to uh, quickly find outfits for certain holidays. You don't want to go into the retail world and spend a bunch of money on something that you just want to wear once on a holiday. Yet another kind of boutique brand. I'm not sure where this is sold. Vero Moda. But it was a size large and I could not get over this cut adorable it's collared with a little button up at the chest ruffle sleeves they are they do have elastic there and then through the bodice it's smocked so this is super flattering and then it ends with a ruffle hem so if you can tell it's elastic smocking there this is the back did i say yeah size large let me see actually what the feels like 100% cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton. And then I'm sure it does have spandex where it's stretchy. Okay, another excellent find here. I just sold a piece kind of similar to this from the same brand for, I want to say $45. It's Bryn Walker, which is a more mature brand. They make a lot of sustainable pieces, uh, really kind of lagging look cuts. This was a size large and it is, I can't read the numbers, but it is a percentage bamboo, which that was what the last piece was. It was also bamboo. So it's a tie front long line kind of cardigan topper piece. Here is the sleeve. It's really oversized and just kind of slouchy. It's gathered there mid back which really added adds some extra interest. It was in amazing condition. So super happy to find that. I'll expect, again, 45, possibly 50-ish from that. Philosophy, which I think this is now sold at Sam's Club. So you want to be careful like paying up for this brand. I wouldn't suggest that. I just got this because I probably paid maybe like $1.50 for it. And I thought it was really cute. It has the ties at the sleeves some kind of faux wood buttons and it is a longer length also linen blend 55 percent linen more free people just a basic black ribbed baby doll style top the chest has like a gathered look to it this is so soft 
size medium. Here's the tag. It's from the We The Free line. Let me see. It feels like, yeah, rayon spandex. So again, that really soft stretch jersey knit. This I got again from the Benz Monzini collection, size extra large. I mainly picked it up because it was an extra large and because it's a button down Hawaiian style shirt with a novelty print. So you have palm trees, uh, like a luau happening. It's really cool stuff. And novelty prints, Hawaiian shirts, they sell great. It has a chest pocket. The only thing is it is missing a button somewhere and it did not have an extra at the interior tag. So I'm just going to have to find a similar button and ask my Mimi to sew it on for me. Not a huge deal. Okay, moving on, Old Navy, size large. I don't shy away from picking up Old Navy if the if my cost of goods is low enough, dollar to two dollars, and if the piece is exceptionally cute with no signs of wear. So this fit that bill. It's It says a whole lot of love that is embroidered on there. So, you know, with the embroidered quality, this could be from Anthropology, honestly. It's also soft. On the interior it's like a boxy kind of fit so i had to go ahead and get this i'll expect that to sell i would say 22 to 25 ish this was an exciting find um i wasn't well i don't know how exciting it was because i don't entirely know who this is but it's a collaboration with stitch fix i still need to do research on this katie sterino collaborating with stitch fix it's a size 3x pale pink it's like a faux wrap crossover front dress. Really pretty. Again, this would be a great Easter dress. I will add that as a keyword. It has a texture to it. Really nice. I think this also, no. I thought it had pockets, but it does not. That's fine. Anthropology Postmark sub-brand which this sub brand from anthropology does tend to sit for me sometimes size two but with how cute this was i could not leave it once again great easter dress it's a neutral color with this 3d floral design this almost gave me like self-portrait vibes which is you know self-portrait is a very expensive brand has a side zip i also really like the kind of halter neck halter neck it was in excellent condition fully lined 55 percent cotton 45 percent linen so as warmer weather approaches i do want to add more and more linen to my closet because i cannot keep it in stock once the weather warms up so i'm trying to prepare for that more free people size small super cute floral print baby doll style tunic this is the sleeve has a little bit of a flare to it earth tones i think that was just 100 percent rayon speaking of we have a 100 percent linen dress and this i was kind of confused about so the tag here looks like straight vintage 90s to me size eight, but it has an H&M tag on it. So maybe they did like a vintage rework kind of thing. It says it was sold for 25 at H&M. Either way, I got it just because it's super 90s Y2K-esque and it's 100% linen. I thought this would be adorable to layer a white baby doll t-shirt underneath and then some chunky boots for kind of like a 90s grunge look a great athleisure piece here this is z by zella which zella is nordstrom's house brand athletic line and z by zella is a diffusion of that this is a size extra large and i just thought this would be great to throw on when you're lounging or for some coverage when you're uh, you know, just out running errands. I feel like I'm not holding it up correctly, but it has this really nice oversized fold over collar, green color, 
it does have thumb holes which is great and also has pockets i think it's yeah it's fleece lined very soft so with that being an extra large my pile just fell uh, that was a solid pickup for sure. Torrid, I think this was my first Torrid piece in this haul, which is surprising. This is a size 6X, and it's a sun wash pullover top. So soft and comfy. Again, I know I've mentioned it, but this style of top sells the best for me people want to be cozy comfy and i add all the keywords loungewear at leisure lounge comfy cozy oversized slouchy this is just cotton polyester it was made in 2018. this brand is sometimes sold on revolve aster the label they make a lot of cute feminine chic items this is no exception polka dot blouse faux wrap crossover with a little button detail at the side so cute and then these sleeves same kind of button up detail i always love the fabric covered buttons i think that's a really nice touch so this is a size small next up more linen that was one of the reasons I got it. Yeah, the brand is Linea, made in USA. Branded mattered all to me, size medium. I mainly got it based on style, cut, and material. So this piece, I will for sure be adding keywords like lag and look, contemporary, minimalist. I love the texture to it. It has some slouchy pockets. It's a midi maxi length. This dress, the cut of this dress is like the epitome of lag and look style. It's loose, uh, kind of like an abstract kind of flow to it. You can layer over or under it. Very kind of artsy look. And it is 70% linen made in USA. So I thought these were women's when I grabbed them from the bins, but I got home and looked them up. They are men's. So I will throw them over in my men's closet. The brand is Sun and Stone. I just liked the print to them. I thought it was very boho. And once again, linen blend. Okay, this is for sure a brand you guys should keep an eye out for. It is called Deer Creatures. I'll show you the dress first. So it's like nautical sailor kind of vibes. Here is the back, crossover back with a button up navy color. And here is the tag, Deer Creatures. This is sometimes sold at Mod Cloth. People are really into this brand. They search it out. It has a lot of uh, very popular specific items. I've sold it once before, maybe twice, but I, I remember specifically I sold a red dress for around $75 and it sold same day. So I have been on the lookout for it since. So this is just green tea and I got it mainly because it was a size extra, extra large. Again, the same thing I've been reiterating this whole haul. It's tie-dye, it's loungewear, athleisure, very soft, cozy, comfy. This is once again fleece lined, so you really can't get any softer than that. We have Diletta, which I'm pretty sure this sub line has been discontinued from anthropology so you know that this is a little bit of an older piece but i did get it because it was a size large and it does have a novelty print with these dandelions is that yeah that sounded wrong but yeah these are definitely dandelions it also has like a like ruffle detail i'm not sure if that's fully picking up, but it's really flattering. I did see the stock photo. Okay, another just boutique pickup based on style and cut. G-I-L-I, -I, got it, love it, in a size extra large slash 1X. So this is a kimono cardigan piece with a bat wing sleeve 
this long line really fun vibrant botanical print open front just great to throw on with like a white tank top and you really just have your outfit there definitely a statement piece talbot size extra large this i got as a bundle piece it's a really soft nice flannel it buttons down in front has the roll tab sleeves this feels very nice it's 100 percent viscose another graphic pullover sweatshirt live with pride with the rainbow graphic so had to get this neutral color all over um, and it is banana republic size small more free people i forget the style name on this but it is so cute look at the color scheme this is the sleeve, a little elastic at the sleeve. This is also a linen blend, which is great. It has a little lace trim to it in a size medium. Tried and true band t-shirt here, Def Leppard. The text is like a gold glitter, but the glitter is not loose. I made sure of that. I refuse to buy anything with loose glitter. That is my worst nightmare. It has like a sun wash graphite look to it throughout that was a size large more linen i was not kidding so i got these just based on material and cut they have an elastic waist with a drawstring really fun lime green color wide leg how cute would these be with like a white bikini top on the beach they have pockets in back really good condition alrighty getting down to our final items here blank nyc i do keep an eye out for the barrow cut of shorts from this brand which these are the barrow size 29 uh, they're just a popular style of short from blank nyc lots of distressing zara which this is one of zara's newer tags sells great for me size large romper high-waisted shorts with elastic super flattering you have a cuff sleeve button down chest with hidden buttons chest pockets elastic in back and does have pockets which is great this feels yeah 100 cotton another style size and material based grab cactus with a k size extra large long line like cardigan topper style piece with some crochet lace inserts it ties at the chest and then it's open throughout the rest the cutouts or inserts continue on back really pretty like natural looking and feeling piece yeah 100 percent cotton made in italy and our very last item one of my favorite brands to sell this is soft surroundings in a size medium very boho style blouse a very soft stretch jersey knit lining with this chiffon overlay that has embroidery on the front it's like a i guess it's like floral maybe just leaves but either way really pretty and that is absolutely everything for this gigantic haul i hope you guys enjoyed if you did enjoy please feel free to leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.